Now, something that can be overly frustrating in a reef aquarium is coming to the grips with the fact that some corals absolutely thrive and some corals just don't work in a particular aquarium. For example, this aquarium has some corals that are absolutely and clearly thriving. Yet, other individual corals are simply not working. And one of the things that we do need to manage in this situation is our expectations. So, this coral, this tank, for example, we would love to see some hammers and various euphilia species thriving in this tank. And we believe it to be completely realistic for these corals to absolutely thrive in this tank. But they're not. It might be that we've seen the blue tang nip at the coral. It might be the flame angel nipping at the coral. It might be the lights are not satisfying that particular coral. Um, or it might be one of the trace elements, metals or something else that's a little bit out of whack that's affecting that particular coral. But it can be overly frustrating to sit here and look at absolutely growing and thriving corals while other individuals are not growing and thriving. Anyway, if you can put a little note on the bottom of this video with any experience that you've got, um, what corals have you put into your tank with what combinations that have absolutely not worked and then what changes have you done for your aquarium that's made the difference that's grown corals that you were previously frustrated about. The other thing that I can um, see at times is let's say that you really want to grow hammer corals and you over time are changing a little bit here and changing a little bit there, nothing significant enough for you to be able to point to as the reason, but then all of a sudden your hammers start to absolutely thrive again. So this can be a very challenging and very frustrating part of the um, reef aquarium hobby. So basically you've got option number one is just steer towards and stick to the species or similar that you clearly see thriving in your aquarium or you need to make changes, changes to lighting, changes to water flow, changes to trace element combination or um, par parameter targets that allow you to over time see the success in the species that you actually want. So the long and short of it is you've either got to change your equipment or your actions to be able to grow the species you want or you need to add the species that are clearly working and disassociating your expectations because your opinion of what should grow is unfortunately as irrelevant as my opinion is. All that matters is what's happening. This coral is thriving, various corals are thriving, but some are not. And this is a common frustration shared by many, many reef aquarists. Anyway, put your experience at the bottom of this video and let us know.